Around 9 in 10 cars made at this Nissan plant still rely on fuel, but that's quickly set to change. There's a new type of vehicle the Japanese car giant is building more of here in Sunderland, electric ones. The direction in Europe from governments, from regional authorities and from cities is towards electric vehicles. So I fully expect that within 10 years, everything that we produce here and everything that we sell will be an electric vehicle. Central to that plan is a new $1.4 billion hub being built here for EVs. Dubbed the world first, it will have three parts to it. Around half the money will come from Nissan to build a new electric car. A similar investment is being put in by a subsidiary of Shanghai-based Envision Group to provide the all-important batteries. And the local council is providing almost 10% of funding to set up a renewable energy microgrid to power the site. When the move was announced in July, Prime Minister Boris Johnson came here to unveil it. This project's also being backed by the UK government as it prepares to host the COP26 climate summit in November. It's keen to show off its green credentials. But it could be transformational for this area too. Around 70,000 jobs here in the northeast of England rely on the supply chain linked to this plant. In recent years, there have been some job losses, partly because of COVID-19 and Brexit uncertainty. But this new push to electric could help power the local economy here for years to come. If the mass transition to EVs is to really happen, batteries could be the key. In a rare look inside Envision's plant in Sunderland, we got a first-hand glimpse of what's becoming a prized possession for global car makers. They may look modest, but these thin sheets of metal which go into the batteries could revolutionise transport for billions of us. And for the firms involved, business is heading in one direction. Envision AC already has plants in Japan, US, China and the UK. We have announced three new plants with Nissan in UK and Japan and with Renault in France. And we expect this growth to continue globally as the world transitions to EVs. The new hub in Sunderland is still a few years away, but the wider sector here does face the usual challenges, from a global shortage of semiconductors to a lack of charging infrastructure and the high cost of EVs. I think that's part of the strategy, is trying to get supplier base around us locally. It reduces our logistics costs, and of course, it's better from a carbon neutrality point of view as well. Official figures predict 40,000 jobs could be created by the UK's EV industry by 2030. If the country is to become a global hub, what's happening here on the northeast coast could be crucial for that journey. Norwegian Barkil, CGTN, Sunderland.